Hi guys, welcome to worship. Today we're going to be talking about weddings. And I don't know how many of you have been to a wedding, but weddings are a beautiful event. Um, there's two happy people in love, ready to spend their lives together. They um, are having a huge party that we get to be part of. They decorate everything so beautifully and it's just a wonderful thing to be part of, right? So our story today is about a wedding. Um, in our modern day, the weddings are planned. We know that we, if we are invited to a wedding, the wedding, um, the invitation says that we need to be there at 6 p.m. and it'll last um, until 10 at night or whatever. We have a plan, right? But in Jesus' time, the groom would come to get the bride, but he wouldn't tell her when he was coming. And so the bride had to be ready at all times. She had to be ready. And not she wasn't the only one who had to be ready. She had her um, her ladies that were like they call them um, bridesmaids, right? Her ladies that were her helpers who got to celebrate with her, usually her friends or her sisters or whatever. And um, those ladies had to be ready also. So the bride and her friends were waiting for the groom to come and he could come at eight in the morning, he could come at midnight, he could come at you know 10 o'clock at night. Whenever he wanted to come get her, he would come get her. And it was kind of a, a waiting, kind of a, the, it was exciting waiting for him to come. And the, um, there's a story Jesus tells about a wedding that was going to happen. And there were 10 girls who were the bridesmaids that were helping the bride get ready. And they were, um, supposedly ready also. Well, it says that half of them, five of them, were kind of the responsible ones, right? They had they had planned what was going to happen days in advance. They'd gone to the store and they bought all the things they needed, including oil for their lamps, because back then, um, their, lamp, their lights, their lanterns or whatever, um, were ha had to have oil in order to um, light. And kind of like our candles, our, we have candles now, or we use flashlights with batteries, right? But they needed oil for their lamps to keep them burning. And it says that five of those girls were ready. They had, they had enough oil to last days, right? But the other five girls were kind of not so much. They, they were the foolish girls. They hadn't planned. They had just grabbed their, their lanterns and realized halfway through the night, that their lanterns did not have enough oil, that it was running out of oil. And eventually, the oil was completely gone and they had no light. And when that happened, they begged the other girls, the five responsible girls, um, to give them some of the, their oil. And the five responsible girls said, mm -mm, no, we need this oil. We need this oil. We were responsible. We thought ahead. We planned. We did what was right. And now we are ready. And so you need to go get your own oil. Go back into town. Walk back into town. Go to the store. Get your, get your oil and come back. So the five girls who needed the oil left and walked off. And lo and behold, while they were gone, the groom came for his bride. The bride was ready and the five girls um, who had their oil were ready and they were all whisked off and they went to the wedding and they um, were at the celebration after, we call it the reception, they were after, they were um, having a wonderful time at this party and the five girls who, the five foolish girls who didn't get ready for this, they came to the uh, reception and they knock on the door and they let us in, let us in, we want to be part of this. And um, and it says, the groom says, no, I, I'm sorry, I don't know you, I can't let you in. And, and this story has um, various meanings. You can, get, you can take many lessons from this. You know, some say um, that Jesus is telling us to be ready for when he comes to get us, that we're ready to go to heaven. Right, that and how we're ready is our hearts are good, that we are connected with God, and that we do um, kind, good, loving things, and um, and then some people talk about how it can also mean that we need to be responsible with things in life, right? That we're given responsibilities, we're given things that we need to do, and we have to think ahead, be ready for them, 
um, plan ahead and be responsible with them. And I think all of those are important lessons. I think that God does want us in heaven with him. He wants us to be ready. He wants us to always be doing good things, that our hearts are always ready to help others when they need help. And I also think that we need to be responsible and think ahead and do what is right. And so there's a lot of good lessons that you can get from that story. And so um, I just want you to think about that. Think what you got from that story. And um, just remember that it is important to be ready. It's always important to be ready to do, to do good. Always be ready to do good. All right. All right. Have a wonderful day. Mm-hmm. <laughs>